Yeah, getting rid of the rubbish, aka the muscle, the collagen, everything in your body. Let's detox till death. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Wendy van der Grinten, a Dutch raw vegan YouTuber. It's not enough that Wendy eats a raw vegan diet, but she proceeds to feed her son a raw vegan slash fruitarian diet. Let's have a look. Hello. Hello. People. I'm Kian and this is Wendy. Hi everyone, my name is Wendy and I am mother of Kian. Kian is, how old are you? Eight. <laughs> Kian is eight years old and we want to share this video about fruits. Fruits and, and vegetables and fruit fest. As much as I hate to comment on people's children as a father myself, but we have to tell the truth. This is absolutely terrible. Her son spoke two or three words, but you can see how malnourished he is and how strange autistic he behaves. Well, raw food and we want to stop. We want to ask Ian some questions. And that's not just children's behavior. Look at those dark eye bags. This is very, very scary. There is no significant muscle or collagen in the kid's face. Especially as a child, he must have a much, much fuller face. And I don't even have to comment about his mother. You see it yourself. And you can ask me some questions and as well. So, oh, wow. where is the father? Why does he allow this? Uh, let's start a little bit about the fruit festival that we are organizing. It will take place in two, times. two weeks. Two, yes. On the 12th, mm. we will gather on the 12th of July. This is a Monday in the Netherlands and uh, we are very happy. Wendy, he is going to grow up and he's going to hate you. He's going to resent you. He's going to be deformed, malnourished, smaller than average. You see it already. He's super thin. Because today we were outside and no masks, huh? No mask. No <laughs> mask. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold, hold still. And um, so in our festival, we have uh, a place for sleeping. We have another room left, left for a couple, for two people or two people and a kid. You look dead. Do you see this? Wendy. Uh, with three and four people. So we, we can have four more people. Maybe it's you. All right. I want to go and rescue that child. Tinctures. I had, yeah, I had tinctures and little things. Little things. Yes, because so you already put your child on supplements, on potions and tinctures because you're feeding him a deficient diet of only bananas. Wow. And Kian, do you also drink some juices that mommy makes? A little. <laughs> a little. Do no you? green no green uh, stuff. No green stuff. I don't like green stuff. Okay. And do you like... So essentially the child is admitting that it doesn't like any vegetables, obviously, because we're not herbivores. And you got him hooked on sugars. That's it. He has no other option. The only thing that tastes good within that diet is the bananas and the mangoes. How about meat? How about fish? How about eggs? The kid would love it but because of your sick ideology you're destroying this child shame on you do you like to drink water or juice repulsive and evil woman and water mm -hmm. uh, and you water. need to drink a, a kilo of water a kilo how many why do you is that one kilo poor poor child absolutely disgusting one, one, one liter one liter is one kilo terrible one liter uh one day yes yeah one yeah yeah, okay, if depend. You, you drink one liter per day. All right. Mm -hmm. One that's, liter per day. That's good. That's good. If you do it, because I don't, I don't do it. I, do, <laughs> I just do this. <laughs> Can I have more? Look, two kilo, me. <laughs> Okay, and what do you normally mm, have? For okay, fruits? not strange behavior at all. Let's just proceed. Let's feed the child more fruits. <laughs> Anymore. For breakfast, when you wake up, what's the first thing you eat? Um, the kid doesn't remember what it ate for breakfast. Do you notice something, Wendy? Um, wow. Banana, mango, and some um, chicken. Uh, what animals? 
pineapple. 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 And some coconut uh, scratch. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, fantastic. No building blocks, no protein, no calcium, no vitamin D3, nothing. How should that kid develop? Tell me. So we got some questions today. Let's see if we can answer them, huh? Okay, I had a question that is about um, detox. And the question is, is raw food diet a detox? Do you know that or shall I answer this one? I don't know it. Yeah. Do you think eating raw food is a detox? Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, you think so? And what, do you know what is a detox? Can you explain? Uh, no, I don't know. Did your mommy do a detox, me? Yes. What did I do? Yes, a child of a few years needs to know about detox. What should he detox from? Eat fruits. That's really too much, man. That's the worst video I ever watched. <laughs> Hands down. And when I was only drinking juice, you think it's a detox? Yes. Yeah? Uh, juice, uh, juice, um, juice detox. Juice detox? Oh, no. Juice fast. Juice fast. What, what's a juice fast? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't so, know. I don't know. Uh, let's just explain a little bit about detox and don't move the camera. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about a detox. A detox is a phase wherein your body is cleaning and it does that every day, every single day, every night. Yes. Yeah, so if the body does it anyway, so why do you need to drink only juice? Okay. Okay. Is raw food diet oh, wow. a detox? In no. a way, it is. In a way, it is. Because if you do it, if you normally eat regular food and then you start to eat only raw food, your body will the kid is unhinged. Uh, start to detoxify more. Wow. <laughs> Sit in front of the camera. Doesn't matter that you ate one kilogram of sugar. Just smile into the camera. Okay, I'll go a little bit backwards so everybody can see both of us. Okay? Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got this question. Wow. Is raw food diet... Absolutely healthy. Look, Wendy, you did good. The teeth are obviously very deteriorated as well. So if you eat normal food, like normal food, cooked food and crisp every day and drinking Coca-Cola and beer and then the next day you only go drink water and eat fruit. Is it a detox? No. No? Why not? Oh my God, you eat every day? the same thing and then one day you eat something else by the way those junk foods that you just listed are all plant-based makes you think <laughs> so, i don't know okay I will, I will say it you're making your child crazy so if you if you normally eat um like two meals of bread and then in the evening eat cooked food with um meat or milk or anything like that from animal products mm -hmm. then yes going on a raw food low fat raw food diet is considered a detox because e detox is e a detoxification basically your body cleans more and more uh, during uh, this eating this food even though you're still eating it's the body has more energy to clean itself because you're not putting in you destroyed that rubbish. kid that's all i can and tell you yeah rubbish is the but there are other ways to do a detox. Animal foods, bad. Raw plants, good. Why? Look at you. You're from the Netherlands. Any other normal Dutch family looks a thousand times healthier than you. What are you talking about? Wake up. Detoxification basically means that you're getting rid of all this rubbish. So that's why we... <laughs> yeah, getting rid of the rubbish, aka the muscle, the collagen, everything in your body. Let's detox till death. Uh, gourmet plates in the evening, low fat. So they are awesome. No salt, no overt fats, no oils. Um, Fantastic. No fat, just sugar. Amazing diet. Then the fruit festival could be your place. Wow. Um, we're over 30 something people. I don't know exactly how many. Uh, That's where the mentally ill people meet. Um, and yeah, we got place for some more. So if you feel, yeah, I got to do that. I got to be with my friends. It's, it's awesome. Look at the child. All right. What is happening? So let's go to the next question, huh? Which question? Okay. So there's people who want to know. Oh man. Um. What does um sleep when you change your diet? Because some people have difficulty sleeping. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, yes. Do you, how do you sleep? Well, if you eat fruits, then it's better because then you don't have any. And in the in the if you sleep, you have you don't have this. Psychoise. Like snoring. Yeah, there are a and lot of people <sighs> snoring, and then when they eat low fat, yeah, low fat fruitarian diet, they don't snore. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. We experience that, that huh? people eating healthier, less snoring. That's very good for the other people. Yes, I can't watch this anymore. If my dad, uh, we were in the house, and then we did, and, and and every night I woke up because my dad was doing this. But now not, huh? I did. <laughs> <laughs> now not because dad is not here anymore. I see some people like people. All right, I had enough. All right, guys, I'm going to cut it off here long enough as it is. You get the idea. I could keep on watching this half an hour video and make the same comments over and over again. But you see what is happening here. An absolutely evil lady possessed is destroying her child. The father nowhere to be seen. I assume they're divorced. Who knows what is going on? Either way, this woman has taken control over the child and is mistreating him in the worst way ways brainwashing him feeding him only fruits because he hates vegetables no meat no nothing not even plant oils simply running on sugar starving this is yet again another tragic example what happens if you don't have a strong leading father figure at home all right guys but this is it if you liked the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and as always, may God bless you all, much love and peace.